This commander is exclusively available for kingdoms over 310 days. Guan Yu is a legendary commander, one of the best leading infantry units with powerful skills. Guan Yu is excellent in any form of PvP, player versus player game, both conquering and open field. However, the latter is more recommended thanks to its enormous AoE skill damage. It is devastating and destructive. Do not be afraid when facing your adversaries it will suffer the worst consequences if they face the Lord of the Magnificent Beard. Let's talk about the advantage and disadvantages of Guan Yu. Advantage is that Guan Yu has a very powerful AoE ability, ideal for hitting multiple enemies on a large scale. He is an infantry commander. These are the most defensive troop types in the game, so they will make him a difficult commander to defeat. He also has a troop healing factor. Important in any battle we face, this will allow him to stay longer in the open field. We can use him in both forms of PvP, conquering, and attacking on the field. The disadvantage for Guan Yu, he is slow for his infantry specialty. He is not ideal for flight, although Lone Rider increases his marching speed by 100% for 3 seconds when Guan Yu leaves a structure. With the open field build, Guan Yu is a commander made for battle. In any situation or difficulty that we face as a player, he will be a very safe trump card if we take advantage of its full potential. The Saint of War skill has a damage factor of 1000 if it's a secondary commander, but a direct damage factor of 2000 if it's a primary commander. This AoE will be your main weapon, so it is necessary to have it in the maximum strength and know how to take advantage of its massive combat taking advantage of its ability. Passive skill Green Dragon, where any enemies can receive Guan Yu's powerful attack much more devastating. No matter what type of units or commanders we face, Guan Yu has a pretty good resistance as an infantry commander. He even has a healing factor, the slaying of Hua Xiong. However, he is not to tank commanders. He is more focused on DPS in open field and his talents to a rapid regeneration of rage to chain attack of his skill constantly. A few things that you want to keep in mind whenever you're adding talents for Guan Yu within the skills path, Heraldic Shield, Burning Blood, All for One, Tactical Mastery, Latent Power, Clarity, Rejuvenate, Feral Nature. For the infantry path would be Iron Spear, Undying Fury, Double Hand Axe, Call of the Pack, Strong of Body, Hold the Line. Now as you build Guan Yu as a Rally Commander, as a Conquering Commander, we have an ideal talent. If we want to burn enemy cities and stronghold, we should only point out that as an open field, he is a commander who will be very damaging to any garrison. However, his abilities and talent are not designed to withstand long battles, but of course, this will depend on the part of your secondary commander to counter this weakness. 5 Tiger General, passive ability perfect for attacking enemy structure in its maximum numbers. Normal attack damage bonus of 15%, attack reduction 30%. That is, we will have an excellent commander attacking enemy structure thanks to its high damage and its reduction. A key talent in the Conquering Path, Moment of Triumph, Marionette, Signal Flare, Tear of Blessings, and Trench, Meteor Shower. As you work towards the skills path, Heraldic Shield, Tactical Mastery, All for One, Burning Blood. In the Infantry Path, Iron Spear, Undying Fury, Double Hand X, Call of the Pack. Some of the best commander pairings for Guan Yu is Leonidas, Alexander the Great, Charles Martel, Yi Song Ye, Richard, Zun Tu, and UG. Now, if you want more in depth detail about this guide, make sure to check out our link on the description for ROK.guide Guan Yu.